Okay, let's do this. Welcome back, actually. Um. Uh, whoa. Okay, so these are the two ships I have. I have this one and that one. Uh, I'm actually going to show you inside, talk about what upcoming videos I'm going to be doing. I'm actually being the bounty hunter type guy right now. I don't like, I don't like the other guy. He just seems boring and bland. I don't like him. Um, oh, it, maybe if he had hair, I would like him more. Um, so let's get in here. Um, the animation and detail on this thing—I forgot to mention the detail. It is, it's alien, like uh, right there. It's out of this world. I can't believe it. Can't, I, I don't, I can't believe much, how much detail is in there. First, I'm going to show you the bed. And the bed, I, this is, I have a theory on this. Um, I think this could be a two-person ship because I think you could get in the cockpit. You frankly come in here, you can get in the little sleep thing, and then you could fly to wherever you're going. So let me get in here real quick. Um, so yeah, nice little animation there. And you sleep with your host, host with your proper guns in them. I think I do have guns in them. Uh, yeah. So, camera moving here. I'll show you the outside of the ship. Um, so, yeah. I want to see the outside of the big ship, which I think I can do by going. I think. I, I, I have pressed G. Do that. I think I do, anyways. Um, do this out. No, I can't. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Okay. Let's get out of here. Come out. Oh, okay. okay, that's how I do it. A nice little animation. If I press F1, it shows a little weight number. Right here is a nice little animation. See him slide out. Little bit. It kind of moves the camera. Push the camera a little long. Let me go back. First person. Okay. Now, that was beautiful. Now I can't wait to show you the cockpit. Which is more, even more beautiful than before. I don't, I, I, like, I would like it more if he actually, like, before he got in, he, unbu he, the thing was already unbuckled and he just said it and you could see him, un he could, you could see him buckle it up and everything. And this is the cockpit. Now, the way that it's animated and how it looks, you can actually do a little cutscene thing with it. And I'll show you that real quick. So you can go. And as you can see, that's how that's how it would go if there's a cutscene. And if you like that, and you thought that looked like an actual cutscene, then like the video. And if you did it, then dislike the video. Um, do something with the video. Like, comment, comment if you think that was cutscene. Comment um, if you think that I could comment if you want me to do like a little Star Citizen movie. Star Citizen, Star Citizen movie. I pro I, I'm probably gonna do a Space Engineer movie, like doing a, a drift, but different. I would have made it. So, let's see here. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, I can do um, A and D, which moves this right to left. I can go S, which will make you go backwards, or you would make the tail go up. Um, I go forwards, back, which also makes it go forward. I I try my fingers to go through it sometimes, like right here. Fingers are actually in it, so if they could change that, that would be beautiful. Um, if I do E and Q. So that would make it go like that. I think that's the roll. Because I think that would make it go left. And that would make it go right. Uh, I'm very confused. I would have to fix that. Um, so yeah. Q, if you see an incoming missile, you would go D and Q. So you would go left. You'd start turning left. And you would spin a little sideways so you can fit through two asteroids. Um, instead of crashing, you would spin, fit through two asteroids. And then go on, so it would it would kind of look like kind of look like that and like that. So yeah, that's very fun to do that. Um, so that that's actually you can actually do that in first person. Okay, I, I'm just saying that right now. Imagine you driving through space and you see the space and you can move around freely and everything. All of a sudden, a pirate ship warps out of nowhere and they start taking fire on you. And then you see two asteroids, and one has a hole in the side. Like they're close together. There's a little a little opening on there's a hole in the side of it that you could go through so you drive away from them and this is what it would look like you would turn left you would start move you would start going left and then you would do that 
and you would spin left and you would be completely sideways and you would go through there and then you would do you would do that and you would go through the hole and everything and then you would get out there and then you would probably press probably press jump for J that would jump you to the light speed um, but that's how I think it would work um, leave your own own ideas of how the in, of how the engineering would work in here how the mechanics would work um, so yeah I'm definitely going to do a video on what we want on here because that this is just too beautiful but yeah let's get out of here First little button, nice, nice new, uh, little animation. F1, see my face. Gotta get up there. Don't be hasty. So yeah. So you're getting out of the seat. So buddy, let's go over here. Get up there. Your little weird jump. Um. So yeah, is that lights wrapped around them? I think it is. Well, there's after one and we can see. Oh no, those are, those are lights. I thought, I thought they were Christmas lights. Okay. So yeah, you can go up and down all around. I'm not going to go up there because it's kind of boring. There's not really anything to do up there except to walk around. Hey, yeah, it's kind of boring. Oh. I'm not yawning. I'm not even tired. So this is the gun. I'm just going to show you this real quick and then probably gonna get off. Or right, stop the video. Put it on YouTube. So yeah, you have to change the seat, and this is actually going to be a gun that I think is going to be on the ship that you would like. You would, okay, hurry up. And so in terms of the gun, you would move up, and then you would come up, and you would turn around and go boom, 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 boom. I don't think you can actually shoot. You can actually shoot. I don't know how you would shoot. I don't know if you can even. So yeah. That's that. Um. So, let's get out of here. Okay. Well, thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, hit, and subscribe. Like if you like anything I do or say or anything at all. Then like, comment if you, comment if you, um, want to see, uh, comment if you have anything that you want that would be like, that you would like to be impl implemented in the game, can you speak? Or anything, or anything like that. So, say you want some cool thrusters or you want uh, the ability to customize your landing gear, color or whatever. Or if you want anything at all, anything, please put in the comments. It will definitely be in the next video. Um, and remember to subscribe to keep up to date on the video. And up to date on all my Star Citizen videos. Once news comes out, I will be putting it on YouTube and telling you all about it. Wow, I'll be showing off my ships. Um, I have a lot of, I'm going to be putting a lot of money in this game. A lot of money. I have very high hopes in it. Um, I, I'm actually going to buy more ships. The next ship I'm going to, the next ship I'm going to buy is the Constellation. Um, I only have two dock bays right now. I um, don't know why. Can you tell? You put in the comments if you know why, or if this has happened to you, or if, if you can upgrade. I'll probably do some research on it. Um, definitely stay up to date. So remember to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Definitely like, um, and definitely subscribe. Definitely comment. All those things. So, thank you for watching, and as always, guys.